What's going on guys? It's Keenan here with ESQ, ready to look at the throwback reels and go back down memory lane. I don't even remember. I don't even remember making this. This is crazy. I remember this game though. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> you see it. Never got hawked down. He had some ugly uniforms though. Jerseys was extra baggy. Shout out my boy Rob Walls. I think this video was like nothing but touchdowns too. Like the whole highlight tape was just straight touchdowns. He wasn't even that good this year either. That's why I got my start at the option. Good pasture got me ready for running the option. We really about to watch three minutes of this? Another option TD. This is another touchdown too. Dang, straight touchdowns the whole clip. Touchdown. Another touchdown. That was my senior year, senior year in high school. Um, like I said, like we we had a good offense, but we wasn't really like a good team. We, we was all right. We, you know, we only went to the second round of playoffs, but um, that was probably my best year statistically uh, since I was in high school. Yeah, I, up until the NFL, I had always been a quarterback. My, and so, uh, you can imagine what that change was like as I got to the highest level that you can play at, trying to change positions. Um, so like in the clip, like we were, there was one, there was a couple of like option plays that I scored on. And that particular game, I think I had like almost 500 yards of offense. So that was like my best uh, statistical game ever. So I probably, and, I, and we literally won because we stopped the two point conversion like as time expired. So crazy game and I had great stats that game. So so by the time I had made that senior clip, I was already um going to already going to Navy. So back then there really huddles like came about like literally my senior year. But prior to huddle, you used to have to you, you had to create your you use a, you get a bunch of discs from your high school and then you got to create your highlight tape from the CDs and then you take the, or the DVDs, then you take it, you make one little thing, put it on YouTube and you got to burn uh, a bunch of copies, a bunch of DVD copies. And so I burned them. My dad put like my picture on front of it, on the front of the thing, and we would send it off to different schools. So that was the old school way of getting recruited. Now you could just put your highlights on Instagram and tag all the coaches on Instagram and they can watch your highlight there, which is really crazy. But back then we had to do it the old school way uh, with CDs and, and, and postage stamps. I remember this game. This is my last ever, uh, my last ever high school game in the playoffs. Yeah, I was hurt this game. What are y'all finding these clips? I don't even remember these, like making these clips.
more option. Yeah. And see the score is at 21 to 14. Two minutes left in the game. Or option. Dang. Last ever game. I don't remember like too much like specific about it. I just remember like it was a really close game. And we were big rivals with the team that we lost to. Should have beat them. Didn't work out. Um and uh yeah, I mean that was a it was a pretty shitty way to go out, but that's how it be sometimes. I'm sure there was stuff in the game that I could have did better, but that was like nine years ago, so I don't remember nothing. I wasn't too depressed. I mean, I was I was upset to be lost because I'm a competitor, but like I knew I was going to be going to college to play football. So I knew at the end of the day, like it wasn't my last time suiting up for a lot of guys that I played with. It was their last time that they would ever uh, be on a football field. Just uh, I just took some of the, the, the competitiveness that I already had. Um, the offense was like completely different. So like, like from a football standpoint, I had to completely adjust um, to like a new setting, new offense, new rules. So it wasn't too much that I could carry over from high school. Um, I just tried to build on the success that I had while I was in high school. I mean, outside of the obvious of joining the military, uh, I also had to learn a completely different, a completely new playbook. Um, had to kind of accept the fact that you go from being like the starting quarterback, you know, star player in high school, like you the man in school, and now you like a lowly freshman, especially at a military academy, you are a very lowly freshman. And you also a lowly freshman on a football team, don't know nothing, ain't did nothing. So it's really humbling to kind of come in from the bottom. But I had a, I had a pretty uh, a worker's mentality. I was just going to come in, grind it out, and uh, do what needed to be done. Stay on your feet. Hey, this is crazy. I don't remember none of these plays. This play though. Hey, we were really slinging that thing. That's crazy. When I'm in the playing the game, I'm in the moment. So like, I'm not really worried about like, oh, that's gonna look good on my highlight tape. I mean, it might be something that we might joke about on the sideline, like after the play, if it was a, a really good play. But like, some of those plays, like, you know, they didn't make the cut, but I, I felt like they were good plays. But um, yeah, while, while you're in the moment, while you're competing, like the only thing you're thinking about is how can we win the game. And uh, interesting note, like I remember the dude, a guy that we played. Uh, in that clip, he ended up going to West Kentucky. He's a running back. He had like six touchdowns that game. Like we could not tackle, we couldn't tackle him. He had a touchdown. Like he caught a touchdown. He ran a touchdown. He took a kick, an onside kick back for a touchdown. Like he just kept scoring. So that was a, a pretty, a pretty crazy game to be a part of. Yeah, I remember that game. I remember this game. Remember this play? Jalen Smith, Pro Bowl linebacker right now. 
this was the start of my receiver career before I really knew I was about to be a receiver. Oh, wow. Remember that? Hit the dab on him. Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's what the record breaker. That was the record breaking game, though. Had a lot of touchdowns that game, too. Another record breaking game, last ever college game, too. Oh, here we go. This was the NCAA record right there. Good times, good times. Always fun beating up on Air Force too. And Army, always fun beating them. I don't even know what it's like to lose to them. Gotta love that. Watch this all day. That's a long clip, too. Oh, I remember this game. Back in the home state. That's probably one of the best games ever. Last touchdown I ever scored in the college. I mean, like, that's like the number one goal every season is to be Air Force and Army. And we always, when I was there, we always be Army. Um, we only lost Air Force once. So had a lot of success against those guys. Um, biggest games of the year, like I said. Uh, actually, be Army on my birthday uh, one year. Um, and then, like, the next year, we played them, like, the day after my birthday. So it was always around birthday time for me. So it was always a great present to, to beat down on them. And then you know, celebrate the night after. Uh, it was hard, man. Like, it was definitely a struggle. It took me a long time to, like, really figure things out. Great experience. I learned a lot. I had an opportunity to meet a lot of different people, but it was, it was certainly a tough transition. Yeah, one of the touchdowns was, like, they, it, it got me the career uh, rushing touchdown record. Uh, it was against SMU toward the middle of the video. Um, and that was the one. And then the last touchdown I ever scored in college was also a record breaking touchdown. So had a couple good memories in that video. Like I knew I was gonna get it before the, like before the play started, like I knew we were gonna score. And uh, the funny note about the last touchdown the person that I was overtaking, I actually ended up being teammates with uh, at the Ravens. So like he played in his bowl game like a week before me, got the total touchdown record. And then I I played after him, broke the record, got it for myself. And then we ended up being on the same team in NFL. So, and we were actually roommates in training camp. So we had a lot of fun about that. It was a lot of fun. You know, Kenneth is a funny guy. Um, and he's you know, a hell of an athlete, hell of a player. So. To kind of be, you know, going back and forth with him was pretty cool. And it was fun to crack jokes with him, uh, especially with us being roommates. Shoot, last game. Only thing I was thinking about was this ain't my last game. I knew I was going to play. Well, I wouldn't say I knew, but I had a good feeling that I was going to play in the NFL. 
And, uh, but I wanted to go out with a bang. We had opportunity. We were 10 and two going into that game. Had an opportunity to break the all time uh, wins record in a season. I think, yeah, break or tie, something like that. I can't remember. And uh, I think it was break, yeah. And so we won the game, got 11 wins, and that was the first time it happened uh, in Naval Academy history. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say 19. I, you know, I got it, got it retired in Navy, had a lot of success in it. But the story behind that was I didn't want it. Like, I was actually pretty pissed off. The first day of, like, football, I walked up to the locker, and I got 19. I'm like, I wore three in high school, as you saw. So I really wanted three. And, I, and it was available, too. And they ended up giving it to somebody that didn't even stay on the team, like, for four years. So they give me they give me 19. I'm like, what is this? Like, <laughs> why the hell you give me 19? I was pissed. Um, and then I just started playing well. And I was like, well, I can't change it now. Like, I've been playing good in it. So I guess that's another superstition uh, <laughs> I had. So ever since then, I just always rock with 19. Appreciate y'all for tuning in to Throwback Reels with me. Um, it was a pleasure to go back down memory lane. Please follow me on Instagram at Keenan Reynolds and on Twitter at KReynolds underscore 19. And please keep up with ESQ for more content coming soon.